This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Efron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech Land, and we have a spicy standard combo list to check out today. This is a deck built around a card that I didn't really think was playable in standard. It's a modern staple, but it's one of those weird rare cases where a card that is arguably busted in modern is actually just not that good in standard, but it seems like someone, and that someone is just a little epic. So thank you to Epic for sending in a really cool deck. My have figured out a way to take advantage of scape shift in the standard format so this is blue green scape shift for m19 standard if you'd like your own deck considered for a future edition of fishbowl thursday make sure to leave a link in the comments or you can email me saffron oliva mtggoldfish.com anyway let's break down blue green scape shift for standard so we start off talking about the lands and this deck is all about the lands finding as many lands as possible as quickly as possible and in that way the deck is slightly reminiscent of like modern scape shift because modern scape shift you got to get seven or eight lands on the battlefield then you win the game so we start with commune with dinosaurs which is a really weird option as far as i'm concerned because we have zero dinosaurs actually zero creatures in our main deck although we do have some in the sideboard but we uh have commune with dinosaurs which finds us just a land so it's basically one mana find a land out of our top five so kind of a weird choice but it does make sure we keep hitting our land drops then we have the actual ramp spell so spring to mind finds a land can draw some cards from the graveyard grow from the ashes can find us land on turn three or on turn five for five mana we can kick it and find two lands and then our promise of course finds us any lands, even non-basic lands, and if we have the deserts, which we have a decent amount in our deck, we get a couple of chump blocking zombies to help keep our life total high while we are setting up the combo. So these cards together just help make sure we get as many lands on the battlefield as quickly as possible. Then we have chart of course and strategic planning, and while it's not very intuitive, these cards are actually sort of double dipping ramp spells in our deck. So we actually want lands in our graveyard in this deck, and we'll talk about why in just a minute so discarding a land hopefully to chart a course or dumping lands into the graveyard with strategic planning is actually beneficial in a weird sort of ramp these cards also help us find our important pieces we only have four escape shifts we only have a handful of our other important combo pieces so being able to just draw cards draw cards draw cards dig through a deck with strategic planning helps make sure we find those cards in a pretty quick manner and can actually combo off consistently and win the game so get a bunch of lands on the battlefield get lands in our graveyard as we assemble our combo pieces with chart of course and strategic planning and then combo piece number one is the mending of dominaria so the mending of dominaria is why dumping lands in our graveyard is kind of a weird ramp spell in our deck so we have zero creatures which means the first two lore counters are simply just milling two cards milling two cards but what we're setting up here is lore counter number three which returns all the lands from our graveyard to the battlefield that is the big important action of the Mending of Dominaria, and what we're trying to do is to get a Mending of Dominaria down, and then before it hits that third lore counter, we want to cast a Scape Shift. So Scape Shift is a four mana card. It lets us sack any number of lands that we search our library for the same amount of lands, put them into play tapped. Well, with the Mending of Dominaria, Scape Shift actually turns into this ridiculous ramp spell. Let's say we have seven lands on the battlefield. We sack all seven lands. We get seven new lands. Well, we're going to get back all the lands we sacrificed with our mending a dominaria which means scape shift for four mana is actually plus seven lands in that scenario so that's the idea if we can get a bunch of lands sack a bunch of lands to essentially double our lands when they all come back with mending of dominaria the last piece of the puzzle is sylvan awakening so sylvan awakening makes it so all of our lands until our next turn become two two creatures with reach indestructible and haste they still remain lands but if we can get 
eh, 15 lands, 20 lands on the battlefield, thanks to all of our ramp and our doubling up with scapeshift and mending dominaria, we just make like 40 power or something ridiculous worth of 2-2 land creatures with our Sylvan Awakening, swing all these hasty, reaching, indestructible lands at our opponent's face, hopefully just kill them with one massive shot of damage. So that's the main combo of the deck and why we're putting all this work into finding lands and getting them in the graveyard. For defense, we have a couple of essence scatters, a couple of negates, so countering creatures, countering spells. In the mana base, Hostile Desert's pretty spicy. It is one of the few creature lands we have in standard, and it turns into a 3-4, but the cost is you actually gotta exile a land from your graveyard, along with paying 2 mana. But, since we're dumping so many lands into our graveyard, with our scape shifts, and our strategic plannings, and charter courses, we hopefully have some fuel there. So it's a good blocker, can go on the offensive. If new Rivulet, we can sack it to mill ourselves to get even more lands in the graveyard, or we can like combo off and mill our opponent out in the late game. Oasis is just an additional desert, plus we need these for our promise to get zombies. Botanical Sanctum, Hinterland Harbor give us some duels, some basic lands. As far as the sideboard, this is where some creatures come into play. So Carnage Tyrant comes in against Control. One of the downsides of our deck is we have a few specific combo pieces that really need to resolve for us to win. Like if our opponent lets us do all this crazy stuff and then just counters our Sylvan Awakening, gonna be really difficult to win. Carnage Tyrant ends that problem. We just ramp into Carnage Tyrant, play Carnage Tyrant, can't be countered, smash our opponent's face. They're definitely not leaving in Fumigates and settle the wreckages. Well, maybe settle, but they're taking out most of their removal against our no creature main deck. And then Teyova takes advantage of the fact that targeted removal likely going to be sideboarded out. Just removal spells are not good against our main deck. We don't have creatures. And then, as we're ramping, we're drawing cards and gaining life. As we scape shift, we're drawing like an entire new hand of cards and gaining a whole bunch of life. So really sweet if our opponent doesn't have removal. Negate gives us more ways to fight through our opponent's counters. Then we get some removal options. Ether Meltdown to deal with vehicles and early game creatures. Deep Freeze is our blue answer to like Hazarets and Scarab Gods since a creature loses its abilities. Rivers Rebuke, kind of our weird bad wrath. And that is Blue Green Scape Shift for Standard. And that's been our Fishbowl Thursday Inza deck deck for this week. So again, thank you to Just a Little Epic for sending it in. And once again, if you want your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave that link in the comments or you can email me, saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.